Hey guys, it's Ross, and we're going to do a review today of a special variety. It's called De La Plata. It comes from Ponza's collection. And I've had this tree, I think, now for three years. If you could see it, right over here, this is the fig we're going to be picking today. And I have it in the greenhouse. That's where we're at right now. We're finishing off the season. I think De La Plata, if I'm not mistaken, is not the latest fig. Um, you know, my tree is just young and probably didn't get the, the prime conditions this year. However, it's a splitter. Yeah, this thing really splits and Pons notes that in his book and that's been my experience so far. And as a result, I really don't like this fig. I'm getting rid of it, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely tasty. I want to unveil it to you guys. That's not bad. It could be better. You know, if Pons is growing a, a fig for 8, 10, 12, 15 years, whatever it is, and it has it in his book, and he were to tell me that this is a splitter, I have to believe him. And for those of you guys who pretty much live anywhere, you don't want to have a fig that splits. Um, so <laughs> this is not a fig I think a lot of people are going to want. However, I think it's got to be really tasted. So let's try it. it. Can peel very easily. See that? That's not bad. But it's not really blowing me away. And as a result, I think this kind of confirms it for me that we're getting rid of this De La Plata. And it's the De La Plata Campanera version from Pons. Um, seems to be a precocious variety. I, I think I've gotten fruit off of this fig every single year I've had it for three years now. But uh, And it grows well. Nice vigor to it. Definitely good distance here uh, in the node spacing. It's a healthy tree. It's young, but uh, I can't have splitters in my collection, guys. So for that, this is De La Plata. This is one fig I guess we'll show you because uh, it's bad, right? This is one of the figs that gives you some perspective, I guess. You know, if I only show you guys the good ones, um, <laughs> how are you supposed to appreciate uh, appreciate them? You know, or know that they're good without seeing the bad ones. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.